cream puffs it's gracie and welcome or welcome back to my channel so it has been two days since this new skirt was added from the advent calendar hopefully many of you were able to receive it friends had to gift it to you it's this christmas skirt i really love it and i thought it'd be a fun idea to make some outfit hacks with it so i'm going to be showing you some colors some textures some accessories heels you name it and what you can style with it that i think looks really nice I'm also briefly going to touch up on some things you probably shouldn't put with this skirt just because it might be too much or too little, we'll see, but some do's and don'ts. Before we go any further, we are on the road to 80,000 subscribers and it would mean so much to me and the channel if you could subscribe to join the Creepuff Squad with that post notification bell on so you never miss the daily December content I am uploading. All right, so first of all, at first I didn't realize this until I clicked on it, but this skirt is toggleable, thank goodness, because while the poinsettias are cute, it's also nice to have a simpler version. Though, if you really wanted to, the poinsettias can blend in by coloring them the same color as the main part of the dress. But there is a toggle version with a lovely sparkle effect, and I think it's great. If you want the poinsettias to stand out, I would recommend just making the skirt a very either darker or lighter color compared to the poinsettias. Moving past the toggles, I want to talk about which bodices and corsets, if any, work with the skirt. I'm very happy to say that I think the skirt works without any bodice or corset, like you don't need one to wear the skirt. Some cases it just looks like the skirt's like jutting out from your Roblox body. But in this case it actually fits really well. I've worn like the shawl scarf to kind of cover up the front part to just make it look, you know, even better. But for bodices, this is really funny because I actually didn't have the Peppermint Princess bodice and I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna buy it yet. But when this skirt came out, I was like, okay, I kind of want it. And I bought it and it works so well with the skirt, like the back and the front, it just works very, very well. I'll be showing you a few just outfits I made while I was fooling around with what to wear with this skirt. But you'll notice that a lot of them include the peppermint princess corset or bodice and the free sleeves that you got from day two of the admin calendar because i just really like how these work with the skirt so i would definitely like i said recommend the peppermint princess bodice but also like i said the miss lady rose corset or any corset or none you know but first let's touch up on some don'ts when it comes to styling this skirt one big thing is not to wear very frivolous or shiny or both items that contrast with this skirt this skirt is already big enough so i would recommend styling it with simple items not items that should stand alone for example, Santa's beard, the goth Lolita sleeves, anything from the pop star set if it has stars, the Love Me Forever handbag, and the Rainbow Pot of Gold bag, just because they are both front held bangs and they are also both shiny. The fur collar is also very poofy, just like the skirt, which kind of clashes. And uh, yeah, just any other thing, items that are pretty big and kind of should stand alone in an outfit because the skirt does that already. Now to finish the video off, here are a couple, not that many, just so you know, just a couple of outfits I styled with this skirt so far. And that's all I have for today's video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and it was helpful to you. And don't forget to subscribe to join the Cream Puff Squad with that post notification bell on so you never miss any of my daily December content. Thank you once again all for watching and I can't wait to see you next time I post. Bye!